Yeah, well, we we run it from Brady. <laughs> <laughs> Running right into him. Oh, <laughs> Man, that boy Brady, man, that boy's something special, man. <laughs> boy. really, yeah, we were just talking about how, like, I never liked Brady. Like, I was never a fan is what I'm saying. I've never been a fan of Brady. But then it's like you can't resist. Like, at this point, you just can't resist. And it's like you can't avoid that he's just, like, a machine. Yeah, that's like going against Jordan or some shit. You yeah, can't. yeah, you can't do it. You, you can't. can't do it. No. You can't do it. You can't do it. And man, I also, all- like oh, – my boy, my let me tell you where my boy to go. <laughs> he a zombie, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's from Broad County, Pompano Beach, Florida. You know what I'm no. But it's like, okay, like, you know what I'm saying? People get swallowed up around here, all kind of talented people, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a black hole you can't escape. You know what I'm saying? With some shit like what even the people, particles, electromagnetic radiation can't swallow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Can't, can't escape. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and he dead. And we, we we like the underdogs and shit like that. They be they be like they they be scared of LJ. They scared of me. You know what I'm saying type shit like that. And they see the potential. You know what I'm saying. And and and, and Brad just finna keep snapping, keep snapping and shit like that. And I, I want to take Brady, Brady, Brady straight. Brady straight. Brady straight. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, yeah. let me tell you something about. And he and he be ripping the Kodak ball. He did a little Kodak ball. Yeah. Man. And he also got really drunk after the game. <laughs> <laughs> they had to carry him out. But let me tell you something about LJ. Like. And, and I told him to his face, and I, I tweeted to him, and I texted to him, like, LJ and Lil Yachty and, and Pump, and there was a bunch of guys that – but LJ first. You know, LJ was the first one – Yachty and LJ, really, the first ones to step up and be like – when I said, hey, listen, I'm right on the edge here. I need a push. You know what I'm saying? I need a push, and I need the president to, to, to see that he's got a lot of support. LJ was like, bro, whatever you need. Like, not only whatever you need, like, he was on it, like, in seconds. You know, and Yachty was on it in seconds. And, you know, it was very difficult. And I, and I, I, t- I talked a little bit about this when I was first on your show. It was very difficult to get people to be, like, on, on with, with Kodak in terms of, like, yeah, I support him, but I don't really want to tweet it out because I'm tweeting to Trump and I don't believe in the politics. And I said, listen, this isn't about politics. Like, sometimes things transcend politics. Prison reform, justice reform, getting people out of prison, getting people out of jail, it transcends what your feelings are about the individual. So I get it. You know, a lot of people don't like Biden. People don't like Trump. People don't like Reagan. I get all that. But, like, stuff like prison and justice reform and getting people out, that transcends anything that you have for the person himself or herself who knows who's going to happen in the future. But... That transcends that. So, like, when I said to LJ, like, yo, I need this tweeted out, like, today, like, it was within three minutes. He's like, anything you need, bro. Like, but it's very hard to find day one guys like that, ride or die guys like that, that will do it, say it, walk the walk, talk the talk. I had plenty of guys say, yeah, yeah, I'll tweet it out, tweet it out. But they never did. So it's like, and I don't hold it against them because I get it. You know, they don't want to put themselves out there. But, like. These guys, I mean, I talked to Yachty yesterday, and, like, I don't even tell Kodak when I, I talk to these guys because it was, like, heartfelt for me. It was really something special. You know, you know, Yachty's on the comments now, so he heard everything you said. Yachty's, Yachty, listen, I, I'll, I'll go to my grave with Yachty. Like, I told him, like, yo, I hope you ever never need me, but if you need me, bro, like, I'll, I'll fly wherever he's at. Uh, same thing for LJ. Like, LJ calls me, he's in Colorado, and some shit goes down, I'll fly out to Colorado. I don't care where these guys are. Like, when guys are loyal to me and loyal to, to Kodak and loyal to my, my, you know, like, Kodak's my family. So, like, if, if they're loyal to, to my family, then I'm always loyal to them. And, like, like, like I, you know, that's why I love having LJ here. I love, love to shoot the shit. Loyalty, I buy you everything. Love, you I'm saying that in the same token. Loyalty is vintage. You know what I'm saying? So... Loyalty, you know, some people can be loyal to a fault. <laughs> to a and fault. To a fault. Like, we, you know, we could be that's so loyal that people could take it for granted. You know, that's yeah. what I, I believe in loyalty over everything. That's that's always been my motto. Now, I put an album out called Loyalty. And it's all about being loyal. And I love YouTube's dynamic, you and Brad, because you grew up in two different worlds. But you come together and y'all love each other so much. 
and this works out for the benefit um, of both of you. You know, and what Brad was able to do with you and Little Wayne, and Little Wayne, I mean, it, it's, it's like history, bro. I never seen no shit like this. And you know, I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm not a Trump fan, but I can't. I was talking I, about before he did that, though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not a Trump fan, but I gotta respect him for what he did for you and Little Wayne. Know what I'm saying? That's that, that, that's how I feel. I said, damn, man, I'm not fucking with him. I don't like him. I this, that. But man, that man, he threw hip hop a motherfucking. <laughs> he went out on some hip hop shit. Let me get Kodak out. Let me get Lil Wayne pardon. I mean, that was amazing shit, bro. Yeah. It was great. Yeah, and I, so what I understand is the music come early. Kodak, that's the easiest thing. You want to do more uh, jail reform. You want to do more to help the people. Yeah, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to put these motherfucking windmill energy things in Haiti. You know what I'm saying? Mm. We got to see about the money that, that, that Haiti got stolen from them. We got to see about all kind of shit. Right? So we trying to build up greenhouses and all that crazy shit in Haiti. You know what I'm saying? Where my growing them from? Rat Pac, I call rats no shit, rats no flock. I'm saying we trying we trying to build Haiti back up in, 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 in Israel, shit like that. I'm saying they ain't worried about that. They ain't worried about the either music is too easy. I'm saying he's, yeah, he's so got we got like a, we got plans, you know, in terms of like helping people not just here, helping people in Haiti. He wants to help people all over the place. Like yeah, we got a lot of cool right stuff right. coming up, you know, Joe. And then we just keep dropping it. Like yeah. you know, we don't we don't make a big deal about it. That the the scholarship he did. Uh, you know, it, for the for the kids in Parkland, for Meadow uh, Pollock in Parkland, we didn't make a big deal about it. And then, like, I mean, I think this was, this was a great news when, unfortunately, the FBI agents got murdered. Who these yeah. guys was fighting against sexual predators? You offered to pay for their kids' college. I think that was an amazing gesture from you. We're getting that squared away this week. No, that was that, that was beautiful, bro. Yeah. That was beautiful. What are you doing? <laughs> Kodak's zoning out. That was beautiful. Yeah, Kodak, let me ask you something. I seen you singing yesterday on Valentine's Day. Woo, 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 woo. Yo, who you was singing to, Kodak? Anybody? Or was you singing to somebody? Was you shooting your shot? That's music. You know what I'm saying? I say I want her on the song and shit. I want her on the song. And that's all. It was just part of it. They're going to remix that shit. They're going to do all type of. Yo. Hell, yeah, yo. Yeah, my brother, man. Um, Kodak, man, it's nice to see you home, my brother, man. I appreciate you. I'm here for you. Whatever you need, my brother. I appreciate you. Yeah. One million percent. You need me for yeah. anything, you let me know. For Haiti, yeah. whatever, you just let me know. Yeah. And by the All way, right. Joe, like, and you know this already, I already thanked you a million times, but like, they they saw that interview too. Everybody saw that interview. Uh, People were talking about it in the White House. Like, okay. you know, hey, there, there's huge Fat Joe fans in the White House. I ran all this shit. Man, I said, oh, yeah, Fat Joe, that's how you come. And I said, then you have it, Tom. I fuck, nigga, bro. What a bro. Yikes. I'm like, okay, yeah, Fat Joe, he hip. But I said, you know what's up. Okay, yeah. Now I know I, what I, it is. I took my hat. You know I know what, what it is, my brother. God bless yeah. you, man. Most Be up. safe, and I'm here. You let me know. Yo, Brad, nothing but love, you heard? Thank you, my man. Taco you, Tuesday. My brother. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> so LJ, was... I'm coming up there. Done. So LJ, I said my love, too. Most up. All right, my brother. Yeah, LJ. One love, my brother. All right. All right, stay up. All right, bye. All right, Brad. <laughs>